I have a 2006 Dodge Ram 1500 edition 4.7 liter engine and we have a turn signal issue that um, is causing when you turn the left turn signal on it wants to flicker back and forth from right to left and when you hit the high beams the high beams automatically want to kick on the washer fluid, which is a um, a bad uh, multifunction switch. So what I'm going to show you is an easy step-by-step -step way to change this switch out so quickly and efficiently on your own. Okay, if you will notice at this point, I've already got the screws out. You've got two screws that are going right here and here, okay? You're also going to have underneath here, let me grab the underneath compartment. If you'll notice on the underneath compartment, you're going to have a regular screw, and this one right here is going to be a silver screw. You'll want to make sure that same silver screw goes right back into that same spot right there. So, on the side here, you're also going to have another one here. And then you're going to have one that holds your bracket that uh, uh, tilts your steering. Okay. Now, I went ahead and removed all the screws, disconnected the line. And now I'm going to show you an easy step to take this off of this bracket. This whole bracket here, it comes in one whole part. If you was to change out this bracket, you'd have to t take off the steering wheel. The it, it mess with all the airbag mechanisms. You don't want to have to do that. So instead, you're going to take a screwdriver. Let me get in here close enough where you can see what I'm doing. Slide a screwdriver up in there. See that? While you got it slid, slid up, you pull it right out. That easy. I will be back to show you as quickly as possible to put the new one back in and be back on the road in less than 30 minutes. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we are looking at the new one. If you notice, like I said, you're going to have the entire um, system set up together. This is all going to be one piece if you have to change that out then you're going to have to take the steering column off and all that stuff. But you don't need to take all this out. So just as quickly as that other one removed, I'm going to take the flat tip screwdriver. And I'm getting it right up underneath there. Sorry, I'm having to hold the camera at the same time, but I'm going to show you this quickly. Okay. Get the screwdriver underneath there. Because that little white tab right there is what's holding it so you want that high enough to get that up underneath there and you see how quickly that came apart that quickly now to install it all you have to do is simply put it in place okay what we're going to do though we're going to we're going to go ahead and hook up the, the electrical cord. This is not easy holding the camera at the same time. Just snap that in. Make sure that red lock tab locks. So once you got it all the way confirmed that you didn't pull on it just a little bit, it, it holds up. I got my blinkers on. Blinkers are working great. So... All right, now that I know that works, I just slide it in, snap. It takes a little wiggle. Once you got it wiggled in, you got it locked in, check that tab. Okay, make sure that tab is, that white tab is up. Once it's up, you know that you're locked in. Now you just put your screws back together, reassemble your housing, and you're back to on the road.